Okay, so here we are. Uh, I have a, my example silhouette here. It's best if it's symmetrized, although it doesn't have to be. You can kind of add different details on either side, but you'll see later in Blender the problems it causes if it's not symmetrical. The other consideration is that if you've added details, if you've added any kind of different values on top of your black and white silhouette, it's not going to work because this, this technique it relies on the trace tool in Blender, so that tool only works if it's black and white. It won't trace different values, so it has to be black and white, and that's the, that's the only kind of consideration. Uh, and with that said, so we'll jump on over into Blender and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so over here in Blender, all I did from Photoshop was export that canvas as a JPEG. There's nothing special there, I just uh, exported it as a JPEG and here it is. So we're just going to drag it, drop it in, Alt-R and then Alt-G resets everything over here in the location and rotation. Uh, I don't know if that's completely necessary, but I like to have it in a predictable spot. Okay, so we're going to select this empty here, select the image, and then come over here to Object, Trace Image to Grease Pencil, and then you can hide your image. And now you have your silhouette here as a grease pencil object. So with our object selected, I'm going to hit the space bar and then convert to Bezier Curve. And then again, you can hide your grease pencil object and now you have your trace. And this is an outline of your silhouette. So what I'm going to do next is again, one more convert step to Mesh. And now you have a mesh outline of your creature silhouette. So we're going to tab over into edit mode, A to select all, and then F to fill. And then you should have a solid object. Now in edit mode, select face and you can extrude your silhouette. And there you have um, a mesh version of your creature silhouette. So I'm going to rotate it with RX90. Then I'm going to hit 1 to center the camera on the face view, G, restrict to Z, and just move it up. So it's in the center there. Right click, set origin to geometry so that it's in the center of the, the model there. And one more step over here to modifier. And we're going to hit remesh. Okay, so this is very important. Do not click and drag on this because every time you tick this voxel size down, it's going to double your geometry. So you see I click to the left here, 3,000, again, 5,000. I keep doing that until I get to about 30 or so. I think that's a good starting point. Uh, and you can see now we have a clean mesh version of our creature silhouette. So we can left click, apply, and now you have a base to sculpt on. So there's a number of different ways you can go from here. Um, you can either start sculpting right on this if you're really good at shaping the mesh with the sculpting tools. If, like me, you are not that good at it. Um, you can stay in object and edit mode and you can edit the mesh from here. So you can tab into edit mode, uh, shift Z to wireframe so you can select both sides of the mesh like that um, and then these parts that are kind of blockier than you would want them to be you can sort of select them there and then S resize move it around and now you have kind of a resized mesh there.
Now, with your mesh resized, we can select the object, control tab over to sculpt mode, and you can start sculpting. And the reason why earlier I said that it's better to have it symmetrized, so now instead of just working on one side of the mesh at a time, you can come over here to hit X on symmetry, and you can just draw on both sides of the creature. Whereas if it if the original silhouette is not symmetrized, you would have to deal with each side independently, which is not a problem, and a lot of people work that way as a preference, but it does slow down, you know, obviously you're sculpting a little bit. So we can come in here, we can smooth out, we can draw, we can add, we can hit G, reshape the body a little bit. And with just a little bit of work, we've got, you know, something to work with here. So you can continue sculpting on this and increasing the density and adding details. And basically, this is exactly what I started with. And let me jump over into the file that I had after not very long. Um, sculpting and I ended up with something like this based on exactly what you just saw and this was a, maybe a couple hours of, of sculpting probably not even and we're only up to about 800,000 tries and I would say a decent amount of detail here add some lights and um, there you go. You got a sculpt. And obviously there's issues with it. You could be blended better, but this is just a demonstration. I wasn't trying to have a finished sculpt here for you guys. But what I did was from that pose, I selected the individual body parts, the arms and legs, and I just cut them off the, the model and posed them however I, I needed. Mess around with that. Let me know how it works for you guys. If you have any tips or tricks that you can add to this, please add it to a, as a comment under the video. Uh, I'm learning just like you guys. I'm by no means a blender uh, expert. So this is just kind of a learn with me sort of thing. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. See you next time.